the magnificence of Belize's natural resources is unquestionable. Conserving and protecting these national treasures is paramount. But these vital areas are under constant threat from irresponsible or unsustainable economic and development practices. And as these realities hit home, we should all remember what we're trying to save and why. Any student can recite environmental facts about Belize, the largest barrier reef in the Western Hemisphere, the largest cave system in Central America, the site of thousands of ancient Mayan temples, home of the world's first jaguar preserve. But defining what is a protected area and explaining its benefits is a little harder. Basically, protected areas are portions of the land or sea that hold significant environmental or cultural importance. These sites are designed to both safeguard species and habitats and preserve their integrity for generations to come. Belize designated its first protected area in 1928. Today, there are 95 protected areas. And while that might seem like a lot, these sites only covered 26% of the country's land and sea. Protected areas in Belize fall under seven categories. Forest reserves manage timber resources for future use by monitoring development activities so the location is not destroyed. Archaeological reserves are designed to protect ancient and historical sites. Wildlife sanctuaries preserve natural conditions to safeguard key species in particular ecosystems. Marine reserves strive to protect habitat and underwater life. Natural monuments preserve nationally significant natural features because of their unique geographic features and characteristics. National parks protect natural and scenic areas for scientific, educational and recreational use. Nature reserves have the highest levels of protection because these sites maintain extremely sensitive ecosystems and species in an undisturbed state. Since even the slightest human impact can have serious negative effects, only researchers conducting scientific or monitoring programs are given permits to enter these areas. These sites are managed by both governmental and non-governmental agencies through co-management agreements. But there are also a handful of privately owned areas in Belize which have been given official protected status. For decades, government, NGOs and ordinary citizens across the world have recognized the important role protected areas play in our everyday lives. Environmentally, protected areas provide essential benefits like clean air and water, fertile soils, medicinal plants, and habitat for species we depend on for food. Economically, protected areas provide significant employment through tourism, fisheries, logging, and recreational activities, as well as research and education programs. Protected areas also protect life and property. Wetlands provide flood control by soaking up excess water after rainstorms. The barrier reef is our first line of defense when a hurricane strikes by reducing the intensity of storm surges. Mangroves maintain the coastline by preventing erosion. But the constant threats to protected areas are very real. On land, too many trees, especially mangroves, are being cut down. In the water, too much marine produce is being harvested and is only replaced by pollutants. These unsustainable and irresponsible practices put immeasurable pressure on the environment and forever alter the landscape and deprive the country of valuable resources. Policymakers have identified the critical areas, but limited human and financial resources mean that far too often there is insufficient enforcement of environmental protection laws and even less prosecution. For too many years, the value of protected areas has been misunderstood and undervalued. This attitude has led to a vicious cycle of inadequate financial support, which makes proper management that much more challenging. While the problems can seem overwhelming, the solutions are out there. 
Experts agree that strategic communication and co-management are the best approaches to developing the most appropriate natural resource management regimes for protected areas. Government officials, conservationists, community leaders, developers, tour operators, citizens, all of us must keep talking to one another and work together to jointly manage protected areas. Only through active collaboration and meaningful partnership can real protection and proper management be achieved. Protected areas are not a luxury that only benefits some of us. Think of how your life would change if there was no clean air, if you couldn't enjoy your favorite fish dinner, or if there were no wetlands to save us from floods, no reefs or mangroves to protect us from hurricanes. We all have to understand the ecological, social, and economic importance of protected areas, or the future of these natural treasures will always be in jeopardy. Being a part of positive change is easy. Support conservation efforts, whether through time and energy or money. Get the facts about development projects happening in your area. Insist on responsible and sustainable development. But most importantly, educate yourself and your family about the environment. Protect protected areas. They protect your way of life. For more information on Belize's protected areas, please contact the Association of Protected Areas Management Organizations, APAMO, the voice of Belize's protected areas, at www.apamo.net, or an environmental group in your area.